Welcome, Aries, to Seven Cups of Spiritual Tea. This will be your general love reading for the month of May 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please keep in mind that um, the readings may not resonate with everyone and could be for a select few. I did uh, meditate prior to this on your cards, your energy, and pre-shuffled. Bear with me, I'm seeing three more shuffles. Also, the energy is fluid, can be vice versa. Keep that in mind, please. Overall energy is the emperor. This is very fitting. This is your card. So you are definitely in your own energy, which is great because we're still in the month of April. Happy birthday, by the way, to any uh, of the Aries. Um, so the overall energy, what I'm picking up here and what I'm feeling is... You guys are taking control of your life. Right now, at this point, you are standing firm. You are making decisions on what you need to do to proceed with your life, to make your life better. Um, you're making choices for your highest good. And you're not letting anything stand in your way, which is great. Okay, so let's get started here. Aries, love interest. Reaching right now, regards to Aries. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have the devil in reverse. We have the Devil in Reverse, the Magician and Ten of Swords together, and the Justice card. So your overall energy being the Emperor, yes, you are getting down to business. You are cutting out all this toxicity out of your life. You know, you know, the old ways of thinking, the old ways of doing things has to go, and you, you know that you have the tools to proceed to make your life better. And this time you want to do it fair and just. See what the justice card. Let's see what the justice. Yeah. See the justice. It's all about past. Past things that have gone on. You're cutting down. Cutting the crap out. Really. <laughs> but you know you're going to. Moving forward. Be very fair. And balanced. In what's going on here. Let's see how your person feels about you. All right. Okay. So this person's very stagnant right now. They're, you know, it almost seems like you're wanting to move forward because this person has just kind of been in a standstill and I see a lot of disappointment from this person they've kind of been held off and not wanting to give you any emotion focused maybe on money a little bit here but they're just taking their sweet time you know tell me about the chariots the chariots not even yeah, it's like they know. 
I mean, look at the chariot. They're just like, you know, <laughs> to me, it almost looks like they're blowing out a hot dog that they've roasted over the fire. But, and they're just like looking at it and they're ready to eat it and they're going to take their sweet time. They're going to even eat before they go to, towards you. And this is, they're just enjoying the moment. This is what they're doing. They wanted to move forward, but, you know, they're taking their sweet time here. Because you got the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles is how they feel towards you. So they're just, it's, you know, the Fours are about being stagnant, stuck. And, you know, this person's just like, you know, I mean, look at them. They're not even paying attention. You know, oh, I just, I keep hearing disappointed too, but I want to see why. You also have the strength card here. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra, very heavy energy with Libra, you know, but they're feeling very overwhelmed here. They're feeling like, you know, they're trying to even gather the strength. I mean, Tammy, I mean, look at how they're feeling. Look at the lion here you know in some decks you know they're just they're taming you know the lady's always taming the lion and some are sweet but my goodness look look at how you know upset he is he just like he can't take it anymore he's just ready to burst you know let's see what action what action will this person take towards you Okay, so you got the Three of Swords, Two of Cups, and Page of Wands. So this person, this person's heartbroken over you. They felt like they had a really good connection with you, that you guys both felt the same way about each other. And they are wanting to start something new, but I want to clarify why they feel heartbroken. I want to find out. So I'm at the three of swords, please. The six of wands. Yeah, this person... Uh, this person wanted to be victorious in this situation. I'm getting a little uh, egotistical here. Sometimes with the energy, it depends on the reading. Sometimes you can feel egotistical or you could feel victorious. I am, ten I am see feeling... Um, ego here but you know they wanted to be the ones you know they they felt cut out but they wanted to be the ones that were you know victorious in the situation I almost feel like not that they wanted to hurt you but they wanted to be the ones that weren't hurt and it's almost like it caught them by surprise here and they're kind of throwing a fit about it you know, <clears throat> they're kind of throwing a fit that they even felt the way that they felt. You know, especially here with, I mean, this is a karmic. You know, it could be soulmates. But I am getting, you know, um, karma here. You know, what goes around comes around. But let's see what the outcome will be. Okay, so the outcome is this person, so yeah, there has been no speaking. Someone's been ghosted, but this person will come out of the cold with you. You have the Five of Pentacles, Empress, and Ace of Wands. So they will come out of this, and you know, it's almost like, you know, we got the Empress here. And we have the emperor for the overall energy. So, you know, what it's telling me is you guys are soulmates here. Definitely karma. But this person will come out. You guys are a power couple, you know. But you will have, you know, an, a new passionate start. Something new. But it's like the person is still... I mean, look at that. It's just sitting there like, oh, yeah, it's coming. You know, and the, these people are walking away from it. So they're going out of the cold, but, you know, they're going to come. 
they're going to come back, but it almost just feels like it's kind of still stagnant, even though they're coming, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's kind of like a push and pull energy, which makes me feel like karma, soulmates, you know, learning <clears throat> life lessons from each other. Let me see what the challenge. I want to see something here in the challenge. Because it's not giving me much on what is actually going on. Oh, okay. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty. Alright, tell me about the eight of swords. Tell me about the tower. So you got the Eight of Swords, Lovers, and the Tower. This person had to make a choice on something. And it looks like this was a third party. It looks like they were given an ultimatum here to choose. They didn't choose. Therefore, the foundation, you know, was... Um, broken because it wasn't set on a sturdy foundation and to begin with but now they're resting as well they kind of took okay i just heard so they're taking taking it with stride so mm -hmm. everything that happened and everything that you know fell down between you guys that broke they kind of took it silently they didn't even react back making it seem like they didn't even care but they they obviously do but they were trapped in a third part so they had, there is definitely a third party here and what they were offering was not much to you and this was upsetting to you you felt like you you know it was an ultimatum i'm hearing an ultimatum but the page of pentacles here with the choice you know, this person was, you know, could be a younger earth sign, but I'm really feeling this person was immature in the way that they acted in this situation. And they weren't really proud of it either, though. And they kind of, they kind of hid. That's what I'm seeing here. The three of cups. Yeah, threes. Here we go. Tell it to your pencils. Definite third party. Look at that. This is definite. This is like all divine. This is karmic. So let me go to here. So clarifying the three of cups is the three of pentacles. So, you know, this is a third party. There's just too many people in the mix. Okay. And you were like, no, I'm going to give you this ultimatum. Do you understand me? And this is what's happening. So it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing too. So you have the world, the high priestess and judgment. So this person knew that, you know, in order to come back, it has to be completely different, but they don't even think, you know, intuitively if the, when they're using their intuition, they know that this cycle has ended. You know, they want it, but they're just so stagnant. They're just like in their head and also pouting. I'm getting feelings of like just being really stubborn and pouting. Let me get some advice. What advice can you give, Aries? Yeah, your advice is self-love. You know, focus on yourself. Do what makes you happy. Don't worry about this person anymore. You know, this person will eventually come back around because the cycle has not been closed completely. But you have the Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, and Nine of Wands. So your advice is, you know, walk away from what's not what is not serving your highest good. 
you know you fought the battle you have fought the war okay if you hang in there keep going keep trudging on okay you know and go towards your ace of cups go towards what makes you happy don't settle you know the three of wands is like you know it's like he's standing there and he's waiting for his ships to come in he's not waiting for you know other people to do that for him he's waiting for it to come to him but they're asking you to make plans make the decision walk away you know walk towards what makes you happy you know just hang in there because i'm getting the feeling that you're having feelings of like i don't want to i don't i don't want to move on i love this person they mean the world to me you know but sometimes we have to make the we have to love ourselves enough to make that decision to walk away cuz you know this is like this is your advice I mean, this is what you would want for yourself. This is what God wants for you. You know, so self-love, you know, focus on yourself and put yourself first. Because I'm hearing, you know, I don't know if some of you are not putting yourself first in a lot of your home situations. <clears throat> because I'm seeing that other people are taking precedent to what, to where you should be. You should be top priority no matter what. Because you cannot help other people unless you help yourself first. You know? There is a there is a difference and a line between being selfish and, you know, loving yourself. Where you have to care about yourself enough to do this. You know? I know your heart's telling you one thing and your mind's telling you another, but... You know... The universe has in store for you something amazing here. You know, let's see. Because this is a little different. I want to see what's coming up for my Aries. What is coming up for my Aries? In love. Oof. Yeah, like if you can make the decision... You will get your wish. It may not be the person that you think it is, but you are going to be pleasantly surprised knowing that, you know, you're just going to be shocked. I hear shocked. So you're going to be like, wow, I cannot believe that, you know, I was stuck on this person for so long. And yet they're, these, this, the person that comes along after is, fulfills all of that and more. But see, you also got the death card. So things are transforming here. Yeah, and you're making plans. Got the two of one. Making plans. I mean, this is total emperor energy. You know, yeah, and you're going for it. You know, you're going to have the strength and the courage just to do this. You guys are going to be in your full power, the emperor power. You're going to be like, you know what? You know, if you don't, if you don't, you know, go with what I need for my kingdom and to make myself happy, to make my kingdom happy, then you're out. And that's what the emperor does. You know? <clears throat> so that's really good. That's great. Okay, let's see. Let's get some uh, romance angels for you guys. I know it's kind of like a little bit of a different reading, but it's really good to see you guys standing in your power. You know, that's awesome. Keep doing that because you are choosing yourself first. What if? What do you want to tell Aries for their love life? What messages do you have for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The month of May, 
Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see what we got. Ooh. This person might have had a addiction problem. Turn off the papers. But they you got codependency finances and career and children. You guys might have been dealing with a Leo. I'm seeing that now. <laughs> And your finances and career are affecting your love life here. What about the children card? Why is the children here? Past life. Relationship. Yeah. You guys might be dealing with just a Leo. Past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. And you have very soon finances and career. So it's almost like the other side of this is because of the money too you might have been scared because then i had this for leo as well codependency soulmate so you might have leo in your chart or leo might have aries in their chart heavily somewhere a lot of fire that's why i'm picking it up very soon very soon release your ex yeah so I think you guys, you might have Leo in your chart, but give yourself, give your, sorry, give your relationship a chance, release your ex. So it means release like the old energy. And this is funny because it was Leo too. Release the old energy and give it a chance. You know, give the relationship a chance. Like I told Leo, don't just when they come back or, you know, you finally reconcile. Don't just be negative and be and be mean and you know say like why weren't you here why didn't you do this why did you leave me you know sit down have honest conversation and communication with this person what is the outcome what's coming up for the future between girl control issues an attraction yeah yeah your advice is deception and trust so you obviously don't trust this person and the actions that they have taken towards you but it's asking you to trust it okay because they want you to let go of control issues as well because there's attraction here you guys leo had this too it's funny so you guys both have mutual attraction for each other but I wish you the best in the month of May. And thank you for joining me in my channel. And many blessings to you. May peace be with you, my lovely Aries. And I hope this resonated with some. It's a little bit all over the place. But you guys have a wonderful day. And thanks for stopping in. Bye.